Uh, Thad, do you guys have a timetable on how long Mickey might be out? Do you expect him back at, at some point? Yeah, we're hoping. I mean, we're just in the middle of the process uh, right now. And, um, you know, obviously we're not uh, able to talk about it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, he's been great. Uh, very, very upbeat, playing his rear end off every day in practice, and and uh, you know obviously he'd like to play, but but understands what's going on, and and uh, I just like the fact that his spirits have been good, and he's continued to work very hard. What will you guys be missing then for however, however long he's out? You obviously won't have him on the floor. What does this team miss without him out there? Well, there's still so many unknowns. I don't I don't know if I can exactly answer that. I think you know from what Mick brings is is. Uh, um, a great basketball IQ. Um, he, he brings um, just a, a understanding of, of how to play the game of basketball. I think with his size and his strength, um, I've been very, uh, I don't want to say surprised, but uh, blown away a little bit by his athleticism and, and just his, his physicality that he plays with. So I think, you know, from in that perspective, I think those will be the things that we'll, we'll miss the most from him. You made aware of Mickey's uh, ineligibility issue. Was it around the same time we were, or have you known about this for a while? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, the, the when we got the word that he was going to be out for a while uh, was when we released it. We knew that there was something going on, um, but that's probably been going on for maybe a month or so. Ed, going into this first outing, uh, a lot of people are curious about what your team will look like. They're so young, there are a lot of unknowns. You mentioned unknowns. Do you have a, like a notion of what you might see, or is it kind of a, kind of a crapshoot for you, too? You know, um, it, it is a little bit of a, of a crapshoot. I'm, I'm excited to play. Uh, I'm excited to, to just to see sort of how guys react and, and, and what they do. Um, you know, this has been a process of, of teaching crawling and walking at the, at the same time with the usefulness that we have. But I think that, uh, you know, we, we've learned to uh, practice at a higher level um, probably over the course of the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, we've attempted to keep things as, as simple as we possibly can and, and trying to uh, get as good as we are or can be at the things that we have in and then sort of move forward. You know, I don't know if, you know, truth be told, we're ready to actually play a game, but I think this will be good for us. You, you had a scrimmage. How much different is it? Is this with the lights on, even though it doesn't count on your record, but with the lights on and some people watching? Yeah, I, I think that it'll be good for our guys. I mean, with as, as I looked at this uh, in the off season. You know, we, we actually thought about playing two exhibition games, but the, the scrimmages have been good for us. So, um, you know, last Saturday was a, was a good day. We, we've gotten a lot better since then. And, uh, you know, hopefully the same thing will happen after Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys schedule or scrimmage, excuse me, BG, I think if that's yes. right. Um, coming out of that, any concerns, things you're hoping to see improve when you guys play on Sunday? Um, I don't know. Can I talk about it? Uh, Sorry, I didn't know yeah, I, I don't know if I can. Um, I, I know this. We we fouled way too much, and uh, and that's something we we've, we've tried to uh, get corrected and, and get acclimated to the the rule changes and you know the hand checking. And but I remember you know a couple of years ago we scrimmaged West Virginia and they were going to change the rules and I think there were 92 free throws shot in a game. Um, it took like four hours to play. It was unbelievable. And uh, you know, and then a week later we were playing normal college basketball again. So, but that was that was one thing that uh, kind of stood out in my mind that um, certain guys were committing the same foul and and just trying to get them to understand. Hey, you know, you do it once, you can't do it again. He said. Uh learning to crawl and walk at, at the same time, or, or however it was that you put it up. What have you learned about this team so far? I mean, you said a couple months or weeks ago when we talked to you, there's a lot to figure out and a lot of faces. What, what have you figured out so far? Well, um, you know, I, I like our size. I like our athleticism. Um, you know, we, we've got some guys that can, can score the basketball, that can, can make shots, um, you know, defensively. Especially for the new guys, they're they're still struggling um, 
with doing it the right way. You, you can't shortcut it, and, and you may be able to shortcut it in a, in a certain situation in practice, but in, in the games, it's going to come back and, and bite you. And, and from that perspective, just trying to drill as much as we can to this is how it has to be done. Um, but I think that's that's probably been you know one of the the biggest things is just trying to develop the mindset of we we have to do it right uh, every single time and that that becomes habitual at that point that that's who you are. Maybe specifically, um, what have you seen from Jaquan? How has he looked uh, getting acclimated? And... Yeah, you know, Jaquan's been very good. I, I've I've been very pleased with uh, the the progress he's made uh, on the court mentally. Um, I think he's he's starting to uh, have more of appreciation for uh, uh, the offense, more of appreciation for um, the basketball, taking care of it. Um, you know, he's got a he's got a great vision, and and um, he's, for his size, he's he's just a little bit bigger than people probably think he is, and and he uses that well from a point guard position. Cam mentioned wanting to exceed expectations. Um, he's you know. Team's not ranked. And Should be easy then, right? <laughs> <laughs> but do you do you like that from from one of your you know older players to hear that? And do you see this team as you know maybe the, and I know it's young, but can this team possibly you know throughout the course of the season start to do that? Yeah, I think that they can. Um, I I really believe this. I, I hope that. Um, our players have a chip of, of youthfulness, uh, a, a chip of nobody really knowing who they are or who we are, um, and, and they use that to their advantage. I, I, I think that uh, you know every great team we've had here has had some element of, of uh, chip on the shoulder or something to prove, and, and for these guys, you, you hope that they're able to, to carry that forth. I mean, we've got a um, very daunting schedule, and, and uh, I think from the standpoint of, of these guys are going to have to see the big picture in terms of, as I said earlier to Adam, you know, just doing all the little things right and, and uh, not deviating from the system. Uh, we don't, as I said, don't have a ton in, but we better be really, really good at what we have in. You don't make a big deal about who's starting or whatever for the exhibition, and a lot of times don't announce it ahead of time. But uh, in your mind, is there anybody who you've seen through the first month who you would say is definitely going to be in the lineup for this game and probably for most of the season? Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, like uh, – Jay Sean has, has been Jay Sean. Um, you know, I've been very pleased with the, the how Mark has played the the level of consistency he's played with uh, here recently. You know, Kata has been he's battled a few injuries, but uh, has, has has been pretty good. But with that said, you know, Cameron brings something an element when when he gets on. He's he's really really on. I think the bigs have done a very good job of, of competing against each other. You know, it, it's uh, interesting to see, uh, you know, just the, the level those guys can play at. Uh, are they as consistent as we want them to be right now? I don't, I'm not quite there yet, but they want to be players. Um, you know, with the new guys, uh, they're getting more and more. You know, it's, it's, I tell them all the time, you're you're so much better than you were a month ago, but you don't even realize it. And um, you know, I, I think from the standpoint of like setting a team, we've been very uh, uh, purposefully moving guys around and just looking at, at different combinations. Probably more from a defensive standpoint than we have. An offensive standpoint, in, in my mind, is, is we're moving guys around. We just want to see what they can do. Um, but I, I think you know the, the veterans probably have the, the upper hand right now, just in terms of, of you know there's a little bit more of a trust. But the young guys have done a good job in terms of earning that. Would it surprise you? I went back and looked at this. Um, Ohio State has had at least one vote in the AP poll every year back to your first year. You didn't have any that year. You don't have any this year. In some ways, you kind of look at this as like the beginning of a new journey. And you know, the next page in the history of this program, I guess, starts mm -hmm. with these guys going forward. You know, it's funny. I do. Um, I, I, I think from the standpoint of, um, you know, just, just with the – I think David told me we were the third youngest team in college basketball this year out of 350 teams. Um, but there's there's an element. You know, when I started here 12 years ago, I didn't know if guys were right-handed, left-handed. Uh, I didn't know anything. And um, but 
you know, I, I think from that perspective, you know, our, our mind as, as a staff is, is big, big picture here. Um, we love what we've got. Um, we, we, you know, enjoy who's on the team and, and what they bring. You know, now it's just getting them as much experience as we can and, and watching them grow. Obviously, you have new faces everywhere, but specifically, the post game is completely different than what it was for four years with Amir and Trey, and then Anthony last year too. What have you seen from like David and Trevor? And obviously, Trevor's been here for a year, but he couldn't mm -hmm. play. Him specifically, I mean, is he kind of ready to take like that new step and be that guy down there? Yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, Trevor has been um, has been really good in practice. Um, you know, all three of those guys from, from Daniel, David, and, and Trevor have um, a lot of mobility, uh, a lot of athleticism. Um, you know, they're, they're up above the rim and, and challenging shots and, and that sort of thing and, and are really good at getting out and, and running the floor. So, you know, those are the things that we, we need from those guys. Um, and you know, like I said, I, Daniel has really impressed me just in terms of, of where I thought he was going to be and where he is now, uh, but which is a credit because the kid has worked extremely hard, and, and uh, you love to see that for him. Yeah, through the years, you've had veteran teams, young teams. This may be one of your youngest teams ever. When, when people see them on Sunday, what, should, they, should they take much from what they see, or is, is what they will be a kind of a moving target? Is it going to evolve quite a bit over the season? Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know, just just from a, a, my perspective as a coach, I've seen a lot of growth uh, in in terms of the 25, 26 practices that we've had, and I really believe it'll it'll continue to grow in terms of of. Uh, the, the players getting better, the system getting better, the team getting better, ultimately. I, I really believe that. I think, you know, I, I wish I could tell you exactly what the people are going to see on Sunday. Um, I hope I know what they're going to see, but uh, it will be interesting.